Good morning. I had an experience this week with uh, a trailer. This one here, as a matter of fact. Uh, my wife and I rented it for a trip from Tampa to back home in the Baton Rouge area, which was about you know, 730 miles, and had to move some stuff. Not too much, but you know, more than would fit in the pickup. So, uh, we looked at this. It was cheap, $130 one way. And uh, it towed wonderfully. Uh, I loaded it as best I could. It's a little nose down, probably a little too nose down, but I uh, you know, put all the weight in the nose. It, uh, no sway. It was ran beautiful. And while we were on the road yesterday, <clears throat> we saw at least four RVs, uh, trailers, fifth wheels and travel trailers, on the side of the road with blowouts. And actually one of them, a fifth wheel with a lady who we just could not convince to pull over, screaming down the road after she had just showered everybody behind her with tire shards and fiberglass and all sorts of other trash that was flying off the poor thing. Uh, but she just uh, would not get it through her head that the reason that trailer's sitting cockeyed is because she's only got three wheels. Uh, so I'm sure at some point she only had two wheels because that other tire was going to be done shortly. But I hope everything ended up safe for them. I just got out of the way. Be that as it may. <clears throat> Having owned my trailer for, well, since June, uh, we have had a, uh, we had a, a delamination and blowout of one of the original tires on it. And I thought about it. You know, this trailer doesn't come with a spare. You know, if you have a blowout on this thing, you have a number, an 800 number you call, and you know, U Haul sends somebody out there to put a new tire on it. I'm thinking, well, if they have that happen a lot, that's not really uh, gonna, that's gonna cut into the profit margin of that $130 I paid to tow this thing, you know, 700 plus miles. So I figured they probably don't do that often. And uh, given the number of RVs I saw on the side of the road with tire problems, I started thinking, well, I wonder what they're doing with these tires. So. When I got home, you know, this morning, I, I got out and I looked at them, and I find it kind of interesting. Um, these are Carlisle CT2040s. They are, I believe, 205-75-14s. Um, they are all balanced. You can see the weights. Every one of them is balanced. They are only a year old. Uh, according to the numbers, the trailer is 10 years old according to its build sticker, so they definitely changed these tires. Uh, they have absolute rock-solid metal valve stems all the way around. Um, they are nicely done. So that's interesting right off the bat. <clears throat> I got my cheat sheet here. Here's some other numbers. These are load range D, so 65 PSI inflation. Speed J, so 65 miles an hour, and load index 105. Uh, that means each tire can support 2,039 pounds at max inflation pressure. Uh, from the trailer loading perspective, this trailer has a tear weight of 1,960 pounds, according to the sticker, and a max cargo capacity of 2,480 for a gross weight of 4,400 pounds. So, that could also be applied front axle 3500, rear axle 3500. So depending on how you load it, you're going to probably have more on the front axle so you don't get sway. This thing towed great, so it, it was just fabulous. Uh, but I'm assuming that U-Haul has done some statistics and done some numbers because they're a big company and, and this is how you make your money and know approximately how people are going to load these trailers when they rent them. You could put 2,500 pounds of stuff in this thing, I'm sure, but your average schmuck like me is going to have a bed, a dresser, an armoire, a couple of tables, maybe a dining room set, and it's not even going to be close to the rated capacity of these tires, so they know that. Um, let's say you put a pallet of bricks in here, and you did load it, and you loaded it to the max weight. You know, looking at all of them, at max weight evenly spread you'd be at you know 4,400 pounds divided by 4 is 1,100 pounds per tire as I said the tire weight can hold is 2,039 so that's 54% at the max loading of this trailer now let's say that you max the axle out which is 3,500 pounds on the front 
that would put you up to about 85% of the max. And U-Haul is allowing you to do that. That's what this thing is rated at. You would be perfectly well within your rights and your contract to put 3,500 pounds on that front axle. No issues. So, what's that tell us? That tells us that the people who make money, or at least it tells me, that the people who make money by not having, by not having tires on their trailers that are going to give them problems and cost them to have to have roadside come out, think that about 85% max is pretty good. That's where you should stay under. Okay. So now, let's take a look at, you know, my RV. That trailer has a dry weight of 8,032 pounds. It has a gross weight max of 9,544 pounds with a axle max of 5,000. So very, very tight. It's not like this one here where you can put 60% or put a huge amount more on one axle than the other. So 3,500 on this and 900 on the back. Uh, that's how this is set up. That is pretty close to even. From the factory, that big trailer came with 225, 75, 15 uh, tires with a 113 load rating. Uh, they were also D's. That's a 2,535 pound max per tire. So the max tire load that you could have given four tires is 10,140 pounds. Now if you look at the two different weights I just quoted, that's a 79% max at the dry weight. So that trailer with nothing in it, probably without even the propane bottles on it, 79% loading already. And if you're running max, which I haven't weighed that trailer yet, but given that it's got about a 1,150 plus pound tongue weight, I'm probably pretty close to that 9,500 pound uh, gross. That's 94% max of the tires. If you are completely equally weight distributed, and I'm talking right to left as well, because the left side of that thing has two slides, one of which has the entire kitchen on it. And the right side only has one slide. So it is much heavier on the left side than on the right. I've never done a cross, cross mass balance to see what it actually is, but I'm certain those left tires, left side tires have more weight on them than the right. I did have a delamination and blowout. After that, I said, all right, this is kind of silly. These are pretty close to max, so I should do something about it. Uh, so I got some new uh, E load range and 116 load index tires that are on it now, and they are capable of holding 2,756 pounds per tire, which gives me a max tire load of 11,024 pounds. So the gross max, gross vehicle weight of 9,544 pounds with the new E load range 116 index tires is at about 86% of that, assuming again that it is perfectly evenly balanced. Uh, looking at how U-Haul thinks that 85% is absolute max max for not having a problem, I'm a little happier with these compared to the 94% assuming even load that I had the last time. Um, I also just did you know, some numbers for grins uh, to figure out what it would take to get that trailer down to the 54% that U-Haul says is where they would want to run if it was evenly balanced and not maxed out on an axle. And that would be impressive because it would take a th not only would it take a third axle on that trailer, so you would have six tires, it would also take load, t load index tires of 118, which are even bigger than the E's that I have on it now. So that would be something, and I think that's kind of unwieldy and certainly not a mod that I'm going to do to it anytime soon. Um, but uh, So that's that's kind of the, uh, the stuff that I found interesting about this. The other thing that I saw, I guess I'll close with this, is uh, these tires are actually stamped made in the USA. And so I immediately went and looked, boy, where can I get made in the USA tires? Because I've seen a lot of people talking about the Chinese and the Malaysian and all the East, uh, the, the Eastern Asian, uh, the, yeah, the East Asian stuff. Uh, is not being very good, and whoa, USA Tires, fantastic. But <laughs> what I found is not only are they stamped made in the USA, they are also stamped made in the USA for U-Haul not to be sold. So, again, the people who understand that tires and not, tires not failing is their business, design their own and have, have them built specially for them. 
So another thing to think about, though, is these are probably out there. They're not for sale, but you can probably find them on eBay or in a junkyard or something like that. And I'm not recommending that because it's a used tire. I think you're probably, I think you're asking for more trouble than that's worth. But eh, you can do what you want. But well, that's my uh, short video for today. Uh, if you like the channel, subscribe. I'm hoping to have more videos uh, coming up soon as I think of topics, things to talk about. I thought this tire topic was pretty interesting. So, you know, you all, the people who make their money by not having tires fail, use very lightly loaded tires with balanced and heavy valve stems. I'm probably not going to be changing my valve stems just because, yeah, that's kind of a pain. But uh, I am much happier now knowing what I did with the E-load rated tires in that trailer. So going forward, if I ever get a real a heavy trailer again like that and it comes with D-rated tires, if I can't convince the, uh, the dealer to do something about that, I'm going to change them immediately. I understand why people are doing that. I thought that was kind of silly at first, but now running the numbers, I get it. So hope you all have a good day. Happy Thanksgiving. Appreciate it.